three Stuart steam plants adjusting the score engine, part 28. There was a slight leak between the steam chest and the cylinder at one side. This was easily fixed by using a little Loctite 542 and tightening the nuts on the studs. Now it is time to run it in using compressed air. Despite the leak, the engine does run very well. It's a little bit what I could term blowy, because the valves do need bedding in somewhat. Originally with this engine, the slide valves were a hard fit against the port faces. After fitting some very expensive gaskets bought from Stuart Models, which, believe it or not, were three pounds each, and that probably didn't include postage or VAT anyway, I fitted the gaskets and now there are gaps between the slide valves and the ports, which is the way it's meant to be. The only thing that should hold a slide valve to the ports is the steam pressure. Originally this engine was put together wrong, it was upside down, the exhaust port was at the top. And because the slide valves were tightly pressed against the port faces, it did actually run by feeding compressed air into the exhaust port which was no good at all. Now it's the right way round, everything's fine apart from an oil leak on the valve chest. By simply slackening off the nuts on the studs at the side that was leaking and running in a little Loctite 542 then re-tightening the nuts, the leak disappeared. You can actually see some oil around where the airline is fitted, that's because the union is not tight. This will all be cleaned off in the fullness of time when I make a proper fitting for the steam inlet pipe. This clip is actually out of sequence. It shows me tightening the bolt that holds the flange of the inlet manifold to the main part of the cylinder. For certain people watching this, I would, as usual, like to say, do not over tighten these small bolts because they will shear. As you can see, I've not managed to shear them off. There is a bit of a technique when assembling and disassembling small engines like this. You need to put just enough pressure on and no more. You'll learn after a while, once you've drilled out quite a few broken bolts, that it's possibly not a good idea to over-tighten them. I speak from experience from a long, long time ago. Now the engine's running and nothing's leaking around the steam chest. So that's job done. There's a bit of run out on the flywheel, but I can't really do anything about that. Believe me when I say that rebuilding these three Stuart steam plants took a lot of effort. Here's another clip of the oil running out of the temporary airline fitting. This is not a problem, but I just wanted to show it one more time. I think it's time to run in this score engine. A score engine is very much like a double 10 V on its side, but the bed plate casting and the trunk guides are much more rigid than on a double 10 V. This engine runs really well now, and it looks a lot better than it did originally. And these engines are capable of running at a really high speed. As you can see, the motion is a blur. I ran the engine at this speed for quite a while, but I did stop it periodically to inject some oil into the cylinder input. And although you can't see it, the oil coming out of the exhaust still is a little bit black as everything beds in. When the oil runs clear from the exhaust pipe, then one could say that the engine is successfully run in or broken in. I'm frequently cleaning the oil splashes off parts of the engine. This is not a problem, it's just for the video. If you rewind the video to the start of the running in process, you should see that the engine is running more smoothly and slightly differently than it did at the beginning. And this is largely due to the fact that the slide valves are bedding in on the port faces. And now the engine doesn't sound quite as blowy as it did at the beginning, and it runs very slowly indeed. This of course is slow motion from the video point of view, but the engine will run at this speed quite happily. In fact, it will run slower than this. What started out as a bit of a mess is now a really nice engine and I look forward to fitting it into the plant with a 501 boiler. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website 
and click on the section of the website that says video playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back